diesel cycle now. It's easy to see on a, on a pressure volume diagram. You go to a much, 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 much smaller volume. There's a higher compression ratios in diesels. If you want just some numbers, gasoline compression ratio, 10 to 1. Diesels, a little below 20 to 1, or right in the vicinity of 20 to 1. So what they're doing is they're compressing air. And the air now is spanking hot at high pressure. In a diesel, they don't have a spark plug. They have a fuel injector. And then they start spraying in the fuel. The fuel injector has to be able to push liquid fuel, which will atomize in it and spray out in the combustion chamber over the high pressure of the gases that are in the combustion chamber when the piston's at top dead center. But it can't, they can do that. They, they spray it in at high pressure, and it atomizes. And when they start spraying it, it's ready to go. It starts burning. It starts combusting. Now, it's, as you spray it in, it, they model it as if it's constant pressure heat addition, constant pressure combustion, not constant volume combustion. Then they stop the spray, stop the heat addition, and continue the expansion until you reject heat. So one to two to three to four. That's the PV diagram. Adiabatic, adiabatic. This is where you have the heat in. This is where you have the heat out. It's constant pressure, not constant volume from two to three. Let's go ahead and write down our first law for the process, one to two. So Q, one to two, minus work, one to two, is equal to U, two, minus U, one. Is that good? Do you like it? Is it okay? Give me a thumbs up if you like the first law for process one to two. Now the process two to three. Q, 2 to 3 minus work, 2 to 3 is equal to U3 minus U2. I really, these first laws are fine. They're just like the equations for the, uh, for the auto cycle. It's just which terms are 0 when, right? So 3 to 4 is Q, uh, 3 to 4 minus work, 3 to 4 is equal to U4 minus U3. And then 4 to 1 is Q, 4 to 1, minus work, 4 to 1. And where I always make a mistake, I'll put, you know, but it's one, U1 minus U4, not, okay, there you go. Now, which terms are 0 for the heat transfers? Q1 to 2? That's 0, right? Q1 to 2 is 0, adiabatic. How about Q3 to 4? Good. Now let's do the work. Work 1 to 2, we expect to be <coughs> negative. What about work 2 to 3? So it's a positive. It's expanding. What about 3 to 4? Positive. It's expanding. How about 4 to 1? Zero. There's your 0. Ah, so the diesel is a little different than the auto. And the big difference is work 2 to 3. True? True. Now, I forgot to say Q2 to 3 is positive in, and Q4 to 1 is negative because it has to be heat rejection. Okay. Now, the, the equations are very similar for what we had before. So work 1 to 2, I'll leave the negative is here, is U2 minus U1. That, that's the result of the first law from the first process, 1 to 2. How about the uh, second equation for the process 2 to 3? Well, what you can do is you say, what is that work 2 to 3? Let me work on that boundary work. Is that equal to the integral of P d V? Is that equal to P times V3 minus V2? I see a yes. I see a couple yeses. Do you agree? Good. So this P, I left off the subscript on it. Which P is it? Is it P3 or P2? They're the same. So you could write this as P3V3 minus P2V2, where I say P is 3 when it multiplies V3, and it's 2 when I multiply V2. True? That's a little helpful. Because is it always an ideal gas? At every point on the process, at every state, it, does the, the fluid behave as an ideal gas? Is PV equal to RT at all times? 
So is this equal to R T3 minus T2? Can I say that the work 2 to 3 is equal to R times T3 minus T2? Yes, yes. What is this R? C sub P minus C sub V. Is that what R is? It's also equal to R bar divided by molar mass. But you know what? It is C sub P minus C sub V as well. Now, if I go to the, sec the, the second equation, for the energy balance for process 2 to 3, I'm going to put Q 2 to 3 is equal to U3 minus U2 minus or plus 2 to 3, right? Did I do that okay? Did I take this equation and bring it down here okay? And I already expanded what that work is, so U3 plus P3V3 minus U2 plus P2V2. What? What did he do? What did he do? Enthalpy. This is H3 minus H2. True? This always blows students. Not always, but enough students get tripped up here. I want to slow down and say, how did we get that Q2 to 3 is equal to the difference in enthalpy? Algebra. It's a, this, this is one of those quirks where, yes, the amount of heat into a closed system is equal to a change in enthalpy, not a change in internal energy, not a change in U, because it's a constant pressure heating process. And as you have a constant pressure heating process, there's boundary work. So the heat is going in to increase the U plus push up the piston and do a PV. So this is very different than the auto cycle. Okay. Now, the rest of this is very similar. Okay. So the work 3 to 4, is that equal to uh, minus U4 minus U3? Or U3 minus U4? Yes. And then how about the Q 4 to 1? Is that equal to uh, uh, U1 minus U4? Yes. Very similar to what we had for the auto cycle.